25 and 28 says, He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Broken. Subdued. Conquered. Some of you today seem so free. You look so free. But you know, in reality, that you are just as imprisoned as you would be in San Quentin. You are broken. You are subdued. Well, the word broken can also be applied to situations where one is bankrupt and one is penniless. And in many situations, people determine your worth by the amount of money that you have. And if you're broke, you're not worth anything to them. But then on the other hand, there are many people who are broke in other words than by mere lack of funds. They're broke because they don't have anything that anybody else values. They're broke because they don't have anything that anyone else feels is worthwhile. No attractiveness, no talent, no skill. And they feel emotionally and they feel mentally bankrupt have no resources to keep them going. But then also I'm sure you've heard of mental breakdown, where people break under the stress and the strain of life. And somebody here today may feel that you're on the verge of a breakdown or even in the midst of a breakdown. Life is just that tough. Life is just that rough. We're confronted every day by broken marriages, broken dreams, broken promises, broken careers, broken hopes, broken health, broken relationships. Job said in Job 17 and 11, my days are past, my purposes are broken off, even the thoughts of my heart are broken off. True people can really get life together ties that bind are broken. Fragmentation is a fact of our day. Too many people are alone. They're broken off. They're estranged. And when you're broken off, you're separated from that to which you belong. Like a limb broken off from a tree. And when people are broken, there's often the tendency to cast them aside as you would an old toy. I worn out possession. 